welcome back to my channel data bi sql so uh, we will continue with the uh, with the with the series of amazon sql interview questions with this video so this will be part 23 of that series and i already made 22 videos in this series uh, and and it, it it's there in a playlist uh, and that i'll put the link of that playlist uh, in the description of this video so you can go and look at all the 22 videos uh, so uh, before we get started uh, right i mean i request you guys to please subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you have been enjoying my content or it, if it has been helpful to you in any of the sql interview questions you know um, like uh, like you you might be attending for data engineer for uh, senior bi engineer or bi engineer like in amazon or in facebook or any other places right i mean uh, these concepts are kind of very critical and uh, common concepts uh, are being asked uh, like many interview questions right i mean especially in the screening rounds uh, some of the basic functions uh, windows function and uh, and and aggregate functions uh, 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 definitely the questions are there so if you if you if my content has been helpful to you uh, i request you guys to please subscribe to my channel and like my video so let's let's continue with today's video so uh, we will use the taxi underscore rights table again uh, so this uh, table i have used in last three four uh, videos so uh, i would highly recommend you guys to please go and look at those videos before you look at this video uh, but uh, if you want to look at this video directly as well uh, that's also fine I'm going to put the script, uh, the, uh, the DDL script and the insert uh, script in the, in the description uh, section. So that way you can create this table and you can uh, also have the data the same similar way I have. So uh, the question here is, so the, the, let's go to the table first. So taxi underscore rights table. So what it does is basically, it, uh, you know, it shows the category of the ride, right? Either as a business category or a personal category. Within that, the purpose of the ride, right? So it's a meeting, customer visit, or in personal, you have meet friends or movie or dinner, right? And the miles driven for that particular purpose and expense date on what date? And then what are the charge for that particular trip, right? So here, the miles was 21.5 and charge was $47.80. Okay, so uh, what is being asked? Let's look at the question. Display those purposes along with their total miles driven and total charges where some per when where same purpose within the same category occurred more than once right so let's read the question right so first thing i always tell is break down the question into different parts so that way it, it makes it very easy for you to understand i right? so display those purposes so they are saying display the purpose right so meeting customer visit all these are purpose along with that total miles driven so total miles driven, right? So basically how many miles driven? So you will see that if you look at the data, right? Sometimes or not sometimes, many times the purpose is basically getting repeated, right? So if you see for the within the business category, meeting was 4th of October. And then again, meeting occurred on 10, 28th of October, right? So two different occasion it occurred, right? So basically uh, uh, we need to display those for along with that total miles driven. So in this case, when you sum up it, it will be like 21 plus 10.4, which is like, you know, 31.9 miles, right? I mean, if a uh, meeting is occurring only two times, then that's a summation. So basically that's a total miles driven. So total miles driven when that comes immediately, some should click in your mind, right? Because total is basically summation of everything, right? So per, uh, total miles is summation of miles and then total charges, right? So total charges mean charge to so total charge. In this case, again, we need to sum up 25 and 47. Right, so again, some function will come into picture, right? And where some same purpose within same category occurred more than once, right? So basically what they are saying is same purpose, like we said, meeting occurred within same category, right? Because meeting can be in the other other category also, right? So meeting can, can be, uh, you know, in personal category also, right? Uh, so a meeting with family, meeting with friends, right? So that's why they're saying that within the same purpose, the same purpose should occur within same category more than once. So more than once means what? Meeting is definitely occur more than once, right? In business category. Then what, let's see, customer visit is also occurring more than once. Some of them might be three times, right? Customer visit, if you see one, two, and three. Actually, it has occurred three times. But uh, how about team lunch? Team lunch has occurred more than once. No, only once it has occurred. Okay, so team lunch will not come into the output, right? Because they are asking if it has occurred more than once, right? So uh, if we were to uh, uh, 
count right whether the purpose occurred more than once we need to have a count function correct because unless you count the number of times it had occurred how will you how will you filter out the data which is only one right so basically count should come into your mind so what we need to count same purpose within where the same purpose within same category occurred more than once right so we are saying purpose right so we need to do count of purpose right so now what we got we got three basically columns that we are pretty sure about total sum of total miles sum of total charges and count of purpose correct this is the basically select loss now more than once occurred more than once means what they are asking you to filter out the data which has occurred only once right so that means greater than one right so if the count is there and then they are asking you to filter immediately it should come to your mind that you know having clause will come into picture and group by will come into picture because they are asking you to group by the count by purpose correct so that so basically now more and more things come into your mind right what will go in select clause what will go in filter clause what will go in group by clause right so group by is display those purposes right so they are saying purposes along with a total mile so basically your group by will go with a category and purpose correct right category and purpose here uh, they they have not asked to display the category but i would say display the category so that output is very clear if you don't display the category and only do uh, group by purpose okay that might not work because uh, you know here you have to have category because let's say the meeting that is in business if what if the we don't have such data here but in personal what if you had a meeting then if you don't put a category that meeting will be counted of personal also right but here they are saying that within the category they have this clause within the same category right so that's why you need to have category as also as a part of group by right because you are breaking group by is what group by is basically you are grouping the data by certain columns right so here they are asking you to group by category as well as the purpose within that category right so that's why you need to have a category and group by category and purpose in the select clause as well as group by so so, so when you look at the query right so select we need to select category we need to select purpose we need to select count of purpose because we need to count right then you have like we mentioned sum of total miles sum of charge right group by category and purpose right because we need to break the data by these two columns right and then along with group by having goes so having is nothing but a filtering condition right having always goes with group by you can't have a having without group by okay so having count of purpose right count of purpose occurred more than once right greater than one right because they are saying that you need to have the have the purposes who have occurred more than at least more than once right so basically they have occurred at least two times right that's why you have this clause and the order by category purpose just for the readability okay so when you run this query what you can see is you within the business category you have conference occurred two times the total of this 26 if you if you saw we summed up this minutes right for the meeting for the meeting we summed up the miles sorry not minutes so miles was 31.9 right and the total charge also was summed up correct so as you see only those category those purposes within the same category which occurred more than two times okay those are only coming up and their total miles and their total charge is also shown okay so uh within this query right if you see we covered a lot of concepts we covered the concept of sum which is kind of an aggregate function right uh, uh, sum and count which has kind of the aggregate sql functions we covered the concept of group by along with having which is a filter condition right so basically this is the, some of the basic concepts that will definitely get asked like any questions right they will ask you to aggregate the data by sum or count or they'll ask you to do group by they ask you to put filter right so even though like you know the the if you see the question it looks long but when you break this question into different parts right uh it makes it a little easy right it makes it easy to for you to think like what will go in select what will go in group by what will go in having right so things like that so that makes it pretty easy so uh that's it for today guys like i hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, uh, this content was helpful to you uh, like i mentioned earlier in the video you can play around with this right i mean you can play around with this data uh, as well i'm going to put the insert clause as well as the create table clause and you can play around with the data so let's say you want to play around where uh, if they can ask 
some same category occurred within more than more than twice right so that means you will put only greater than two that means you want at least those purposes where it is more than twice means more than basically thrice right thrice so in that case you have only three correct you have only three you have only two within each category that is customer visit have occurred three times and dinner occurred three times right so you can you can basically uh, you know play around with this data the way you want right i mean you can play around with count you can play around with like sum of miles right uh, and things like that so uh, that's it for it today uh, thank you all